Yo, 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 what's up, my people? What's good? It's your boy back with another video. Today, we are here at Crazy Dales in Salatoa, Mississippi. Um, I actually made a video here back around, it's probably been two or three months now. But for y'all who don't know what this place is, this is the place that carries returns from Walmart, Amazon, Target. Uh, I think there's a couple other ones as well. But how this place works is they get their restock in on Thursdays. They're actually closed on Thursdays. And then on Friday, uh, when this place opens, it's kind of like a first come, first serve. But also Friday is the highest day as well. Um, well, actually, usually on Fridays, everything's 10 bucks, but they actually have a sale going on right now. Um, so today is Friday, and actually everything is $7 today, uh, but usually everything's 10. Um, so this week, um, on Fridays, everything's 7. Sunday, I think everything's 5. Um, Monday, I think it's down to like 3 bucks or something. Tuesday, I think it's like a dollar or two dollars. And then Wednesday, I think it's down to like 50 cents. Um, but the way this place works is it's kind of like a first come, first serve. Um, so, of course, the better stuff, the good stuff is going to be taken up first. And then usually within two or three days, it's really nothing but junk. Um, that's kind of why the price keeps going down because nobody wants it. Uh, but today is Friday. Today is the first day they have restocked this week. I think they open around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Uh, right now it is 12, 15. So they've been open about three and a half hours, four hours, something like that. Uh, so I'm hoping there's some pretty good stuff still in here. Uh, last time I came was on a Monday. And when I came on that Monday, it was nothing but junk. Um, I was in the store for 45 minutes, an hour and wasted my wasted a whole hour pretty much uh, but hopefully today we can find some pretty cool stuff and uh, if i find something pretty cool i actually might make a little review out of it uh you just never know but guys i'm ready to stop wasting time i'm ready to go inside let's go inside <laughs> We are back. 
today it was completely different um last time i came here i said don't come here don't waste your time this place is nothing but junk i gave a pretty bad review of this place last time but today it was completely different uh you could just tell as soon as you walked in first couple carts first couple things he was looking at you could just tell it was different and it was different but it was different in a good way so i did buy four different items today and i will show them items here in a couple minutes but for y'all who have never heard this place don't know how it works let me explain it to you right quick so this place they have returns from walmart target amazon a couple other places as well and thursdays is when they get the new restock in every week uh, they're actually closed on thursdays for restock and they reopen on friday so how this place works is since friday is the first day they have reopened since the restock friday is going to be the most expensive day and usually on fridays everything is usually ten dollars uh, you can buy anything whatever you want each item you buy it's gonna be ten dollars and then throughout the week it's gonna get cheaper so on friday everything's ten dollars and then i think saturday's like five sunday four i think it goes down like a dollar each day and then by wednesday uh since well wednesday is the last day of the week uh, before the restock i think wednesday i think it's down to like a dollar fifty cents and then when they open back up on fridays everything's gonna be back at ten dollars and it's gonna be the same process again throughout the week it's when it's cheaper um so today is friday but actually this week they actually have a sale going on so everything is actually going to be cheaper every day this week um so today is friday and everything is usually ten dollars but today everything was seven dollars uh, i think tomorrow things gonna be like five and i think it goes down like a dollar each day after that but um yeah they buy four different items today and i'm gonna show them items here in just a minute so here is the first item i got uh this is a super combo pokemon mario nintendo ds game now actually the first three items i'm going to show you i plan on reselling these items so when i was in the store um i was just looking at amazon looking at um ebay kind of a couple of websites like that just to see if these items are selling and seeing how much they sell for and if i can make a good five ten dollars off of it i was planning on buying it so that's the that's actually the reason why i bought most of these items but the last item i'm showing you guys today i'm pretty sure i'm not reselling this last item um so here is the first item i bought so once again all these items i bought today seven dollars each so here's the first item this is a super combo pokemon mario nintendo ds game so there's the front and there's the back second item this is a size extra large takis hoodie front and back item number three let's see how do you pronounce this company i'm just gonna spell it out uh it's spelled s-g-i-l-e now this is actually a race car so there's the race car right there and here's a little quick spin around of the sides and the back and there's the uh, the bottom of it right there and then once again back to the top so a uh, race car and here is the last item now as soon as i saw this item i went ahead and grabbed it immediately uh i was to be honest with you i was shocked surprised i'm like how in the world is this item still here because i got here right after 12 and this place has been open three or four hours and this is a very very cool interesting rare item 
I'm like, how is somebody not picked this thing up now? But uh, I'm, I'm happy I found it for sure. But guys, I'm super excited, super pumped about this item. This is a 1998-1999 NBA Hardwood Classic jersey, Mr. Vince Carter. How freaking cool is this? So this is back when Vince Carter was uh, playing for the Raptors. So there's the front of the jersey, it says Raptors. There's his number, which is number 15. And then here is the uh, the bottom of the uh, jersey, which has the 1998-1999 Hardwood Classics on it. And then here is the back of the jersey, which has uh, Vince Carter's wife's name and number. So there's the back of the jersey, has Carter, number 15. But... I mean, I was super, super pumped and excited about this one. As soon as I saw it, I grabbed it. I'm like, $7. I have to have this for $7. Um, but actually, when I was checking out, the guy was telling me, he's like, I didn't know he had any of these left. He was telling me there was a woman who came in first thing this morning back at uh, 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, whatever time they opened. He said, well, actually, this place has only been open for three or four months. And he was telling me in three or four months, they've only had jerseys come in two different times. Now, he's saying the first time, they only had one jersey. And I think he said it was a Tim Duncan, um, Hardwood Classics, I believe is what he said. And he said today, they had seven of them. And... He was saying a woman came in first thing this morning and she bought six of them. And then um, after the woman made a comment, she uh, she said, I bought all the jerseys you guys have. And um, I don't know if the guy at the cash register ever told him there was supposed to be one more. I don't know what happened there. But uh, anyway, when I was checking out, he made the comment. He's like, I didn't know there's any more of these jerseys left. Um, I'm like, well, yeah, it was, it was back there. And I was kind of showing them where it's at. I'm like, it was back there in that left corner. Kind of, you know, right in the area right there. And uh, he's like, I really thought we sold all these already. But he's like, dude, he, you know, come to find out he's a pretty big NBA fan as well. He loves collecting jerseys. He was, uh, I think he was a little jealous. But uh, since he worked there, he couldn't buy it. But he's like, dude, that's, that's pretty cool, man. He's like, I wish I could have that right there. But um, he was, uh, I think he was also excited for me as well. Um, but I, I mean, I'm still very excited and pumped up right now about this. And I still don't even know how much this one's worth. Now, these other items, before I bought it, I was looking at Amazon, looking at eBay, looking to see how much these items are selling for to determine if I should buy these items or not. Uh, if I can make a good five, ten dollars, I'm gonna buy it to resell it. Uh, but as soon as I saw this one here, I'm like, there's no way I'm, I'm selling this one. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it. And I have still right now, I have no idea how much this jersey is worth. I'm gonna look it up here in a little bit to see how much this thing's worth. But I'm gonna say this thing's probably worth a good, if I was guessing, this is this is just a guess. I'm gonna say this thing's probably worth at least 50 bucks. Uh, it could be worth 100. I really have no idea. But I know for a fact, this thing's worth more than seven bucks. But uh, I'm, I'm not selling this. This is something I'm gonna keep for sure. This is uh, something vintage, a collector's item. I'm not selling this one. There, uh, There's no way. But how freaking cool is this? Vince Carter, 1998-1999, Hardwood Classics. This is actually a Mitchell and Ness jersey as well. But how freaking cool is this, man? Look at this. Look at this, man. Just look at it. 
Just look at that, man. How freaking cool is this? Super, super pumped and excited about this one. Okay, that's uh, that is all I have for the video, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please like. Feel free to comment if you haven't subscribed. What are you waiting on, guys? Come on, hit that subscribe button. But uh, that's on me for the video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys again pretty soon. Have a good one.